Saturday, 3 o'clock, the mighty Manchester United off the back of an Arsenal win away from home take on Hull City at Old Trafford. Will United come up trumps and stage a win that everyone is predicting? Or will the Tigers ferociously uh, stick their claws and send Manchester United two steps back? Here are my thoughts on the game. Hey guys, Joshua Smith, MUFC here. You know, I kind of like doing them intros now, they're quite cool. Um, so anyway guys, here, here I am, you know, for the preview of the Manchester United whole game, which is taking place on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Um, you know, real confidence going into this one for myself and many United fans out there, and I'm sure the team as well. Uh, coming off the back of an Ar away win at Arsenal, you know, that can do nothing but goodness for the confidence of our players, the fans, and just the overall team spirit. Um, so yeah. But Hull won't be no easy opposition. Um, they've been playing well recently, you know, just not really getting results. I saw them against Tottenham uh, on Sunday, well, last Sunday, and they didn't look like a bad side. You know, they had Tottenham on the back foot for most of the first half and maybe should have been two to three goals up. So that's something we will need to watch out for uh, during the game, you know, because they, are a, they will try and hit us and, you know, they have got the, the quality of players to uh, do so. But nevertheless, we are Manchester United we should be winning these games. To be in uh, consideration for a top four spot, you have to win these games. You know, that's, that's no disrespect to Hull at all. I just think, you know, to be a top four team, you need to be winning these sort of games because Hull sitting 17th in the table or eight, uh, or 16th. I don't think that does them justice, you know, because I think they have been playing some decent football this season. But United have to win these sort of games to be in consideration for top four spot. We also have some injured players coming back, you know, the likes of Andre Herrera had a run out, so did Johnny Evans against uh, Blackburn uh, in the reserve, and a 5-0 win, Andre Herrera got on the score sheet there, so you know, it's good to see some players coming back into the squad, I've also heard Rojas back in training, not sure the credibility of that, but you know, it's good to hear that players are coming back, and it'd be nice to see United now, you know, really maintain uh, not getting any injured players, because that'd be good to see, and you know, really could help us kick on this season and really progress. Once again, the defence will be a huge talking point ahead of the match. What is Louis van Gaal going to do? You know, is he going to stick with the five at the back, the three at the back, the five at the back? Who knows what he's going to do? Will he go with the, the usual four that United are used to? But, you know, once again, I, should, I don't see us losing this game. Uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be a comfortable win because there could be some nervy moments, but, you know, United should, should happily see off whole. Prediction time. I'm going to go with a 3-1 Manchester United victory. You know, Wayne Rooney grabbing a couple. Maybe Falcao coming off the bench to score a third and, you know, put the game to bed. I do think there'll be some nervy moments because Hull are not a bad side, as I said. Uh, I've heard Abel Hernandez could return from injury, but I'm not too sure about the credibility of that either. But a 3-1 victory for United is my prediction. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about your predictions. You know, it'd be nice to hear from a few of you. Anyway, guys, this has been Joshua Spence, MUFC. It's really murky and dark out here, not much light. So I will sign off here. Please leave a like on the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because it means so much to me and it only takes you a click. Thank you for watching and I will see you after the game. Take care.